Arcade Family. If you guys are new here, hey, my name's Lissy. Welcome to the Arcade Family. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already joined our family here. And also be sure to drop a like if you guys are excited for today's video. If this video gets to 10,000 likes, then I will try to do more videos like today's video. Anyways, guys, for today's video, I headed back on over to Round 1 Arcade. We played a bunch of claw machines slash UFO catchers, and we see what we can win. I also try to give you guys some more of my favorite tips and or tricks on how to win these UFO catchers and or claw machines. So without further ado, let's get right on into playing arcade games. All right, so we're gonna start with this alpaca claw machine. It's so cute. Look at his little face. So guys, the best tip I can give you guys is that if you see a plush that's kind of easy, not super jammed in between the plushes on display, like that one's kind of jammed in so it'll be a little harder, but this one's more open and it's pretty close to the prize chute and the opening's really big, that one has a better chance of being won than something like that where it's more jammed in and going to need a lot of plays to be pushed out. So for this one, we're going to want to hit it by the left side of the prong and then push it this way towards the prize chute. So let's see if we can get it. All right, let's do it, guys. So we're going to go about here and here. That looks perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Let's see if that does it, guys. Come on, alpaca. Oh, -ho! it's definitely going to fall in one play. Yes, that's how you win the alpaca, guys, in only one play, guys. That is the easiest tip I can give you guys on how to easily win a plush at round one. Look how cute he is! Yay! So another type of machine you can play around one that can be easy is the hook machine. So basically with this one guys, you gotta get the hook onto the present hook and then you can choose a prize from the back wall. And for this you wanna get it directly on top of the hook and just get lucky. So this one's kind of about luck, but you never know. Alright, let's give it a shot guys. So this one you just gotta be really good with aim. So we're gonna go literally about here. Oh, that looks perfect. And then right about here. Oh, that looks so good. Come on, get it. That might be it. That might be it when it goes up. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on. Oh, that was close. And right there. Come on, little hook. Oh, maybe if it swings right. I love the suspense of this game. It's such a challenge, and I love that about it. Oh, this is the one. I feel it. This is it. Right here, come on. If it swings a little more forward. Oh! All right, so if you guys also aren't too good at UFOs, you could try the ping pong catcher, which is also more of a luck game, kind of like the last one. So it's all about luck. You don't have to have too much skill. Just have to know where to line up the claw to grab the balls, which would just be literally in the middle here of the dish and just hope to grab some ping pong balls and get lucky. All right, let's see if we can get lucky today. I love these luck games though because it's all about the suspense and the fun of it. Oh, oh, we got one ball. We just gotta hope that this is the one ball. Come on, land in the yellow dot. We need it to land in this yellow dot right here. Come on. Oh, oh, in the first try, we got it in the yellow dot. All right, back to another UFO. This one is the cutest prize ever. It's literally Mama Goma with a flower in his mouth. I love her so much. All right. Let's try to get it. So for this one, um, it's telling us to poke it right here, but he's a little bit jammed right there, which would be right here. I know that wasn't showing because of the darkness, but he's pretty far up, so I'm going to try to like smush him in about here-ish and see if it will slide him any bit into the prize chute. Oh, he's kind of sinking. All right, he did sink a little bit. Huh, that's interesting. They are getting a little bit jammed though between, so it's kind of a hard call unless I go for the back and hope that he tips. Not sure. Let's just try to tip him a little more and see if we can push him at all. About here and here. See if it will push him at all. Oh, it's definitely tipping him. Yeah, he's gonna go in a few more plays, guys. Definitely, he's gonna fall in. All right, here we go, Mamagoma. About here and here. I might have went a little bit too far forward that time. Yeah, but it did push it a little bit. Come on, Celio Canelio. Ah. All right, we're gonna try to get as close as we can to the front of the seal here. However, it's gonna be hard because it starts up pretty far forward. So, oh, yes, we did it! Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, so doing it as close as I could to the front was the hack for this. This is the cutest plush ever. Wow, look at it. Oh my goodness. 
All right, guys, so we're doing pretty good so far. We got the seal with the flower, we got Gudetama, and we also got the alpaca. We're doing great. All right, so I found this cat claw machine, and basically what you gotta do is take the cat and push it into this hole right here to win it. It is in a pretty good position because part of its legs are dangling already in the prize chute. As long as it's not too jammed up there, I think we can get it. All right, let's see if we can push her in. I'm gonna go literally here, and it's far about there. Maybe if I push that butt right into the prize chute, that's exactly where I wanted it. Oh, it didn't push it a whole lot though. That was disappointing. Back to another hook claw machine. Let's see if we get the slaw. I love these hook ones so much, especially the ones that are already right here because it's that much easier to just perfectly line it up because it's literally right here. Come on. Oh, that looks great. Come up on it though. Oh, I don't think it's gonna come up on it. Let's try for the hedgehog. Perfect. And perfect. Come on, hedgehog. Oh, that might do it. It's swinging a whole lot, though. Oh! These ones are so fun. I love the thrill of these ones. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh. It did that thing where it swung all the way in the middle. But you never know. Oh! Oh! We got it! That is seriously one of the easiest claw machines. I've won this like four or five times on my channel now. That is insane, guys. Look at that. We got the ring. We hooked the ring, which means we get a hedgehog again. Yay! Hedgehog family! Looks great. Oh, that looks perfect. It might have slid too far backwards, though. Oh! Come on, hook. That might do it. That genuinely might do it. It's already kind of hooked around the side. Oh, maybe. Oh, it slid backwards again. Why do you gotta slide backwards on me? Ah. Whoa, well, there's Mario hats in here in a UFO. I really want to see if these are actually easy to pick up or not. If we can grab the one on the side here and just like literally pick it up. All right, come on, Mario hat. I'm going for this one right here. Maybe, if it actually hooks it. Hook it. Hook the Mario hat. Oh! They have a Pomeranian claw machine. Let's see if we can stab it with the left prong and make him roll into the prize chute. As long as it's strong, it should be all right. Let's see here. Come on, Pomeranian. Here and here. Come on. Hopefully it's strong, though. Oh, that is pretty strong, actually. It did move quite a bit. He's pretty jammed. All right, let's try again for the Pomeranian. It is a pretty strong stab, though. I was really surprised. All right, right about here and here. Come on, push him on in. Roll this Pomeranian. Aw, oh, he's kind of jammed. He's going to definitely take a minute. So for these bigger claw machines, if you guys happen to see one that is by the prize chute, that's always a good thing, guys. Always a good thing. Because if it's by the prize chute, you have a better chance of getting it to fall in on accident. And this goes for any arcade, any claw machine. So let's see if we can get lucky today and get it to fall in by accident if it is strong at all. Oh, okay. It's a little weak. It's a little twisted. Let's try it one more time. Come on, kitty cats. Let's go literally right here. Come on. Oh! So this is not a UFO catcher, but I wanted to show it in the video. They have Disney Tsum Tsums here. I've played this once before, but basically you can get a capsule here that gives you a random Tsum Tsum, and you get to play the match game, which is so much fun, and I want to try that today. So we're going to play it. It is 6.4 credits, so that was a lot of money, actually, to get a figurine. I didn't realize how much that was going to be, but here we are getting our figurine. Right here, we got a figurine. It says pick up your figurine. Oh, I got Chip, which is cool. I've actually gotten this one before. And I think you put it here. Do you want another figurine? Insert four more coins? Yeah, right. No thanks. That's too much money. It's a lot of money for a figurine. All right, so I got Dale. And then you just push OK. And then um, you basically, you select two Tsum Tsums. You can use the skills of two Tsum Tsums selected. We're going to choose Stitch and the Cheshire Cat. Because I like those Tsum Tsums a lot. It's teaching us how to play Tsum Tsum right now. So connect three or more to clear them. The more you connect, the higher you score. Play with your friends. You can actually play against your friends on the other screen. 
So we're gonna do a single player, and we're gonna do normal. All right, here we go, guys. Let's match some Tsum Tsums. <gasps> All right. Sweet, we got a big four here, we got three. Nice, we got a six. We're doing pretty good. Oh, we got a seven. What did I get? I got a last bonus. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's an explosion. I got 185,000, so it's gonna land on something. And then all the goofies are gonna disappear. So I got 198,000. Come on, keep giving me bonuses. Chess or cats? All right, pretty good. Is that it? Oh, I got a 10 combo. So I got a score of 201,000. Okay, class 10. Yay, I got class 10. It's probably not amazing, you know, because it could be higher. But that's pretty cool. I like this game. I like the vibe of it. It gives me Tokyo vibes, which is super cool. So, yay. I got a guest ranking of 201,000. Comment down below if you guys have played this game before. Pretty awesome game. So, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, be sure to drop a like and be sure to leave a comment down below. Comment down below letting me know what your favorite prize I won in today's video was. Or if you guys have ever been to round one, comment down below what your favorite prizes you guys have won have been. I know that the arcade itself is quite expensive. Like expensive girl they raise their prizes up so I'm hoping that these tips can help you guys win more when you guys do go to round one if you guys do choose to spend your money at this arcade but yeah it is quite expensive but oh my goodness the prizes are so cute I literally love this seal so much that we got in today's video look at how cute his little face is he has a little flower like what's not to love about a cute kawaii seal anyways so that is gonna do it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys are having a fantastic day I love you all you're amazing. Don't let anyone tell you less because you slay. You guys mean the world to me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.